Well, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today it's uh, Wednesday the 26th of April and we're just here. Got the chain arrows on, which I tried to put on earlier on in the year, but it was unfortunately uh, too wet. I couldn't use them, so we just put them on today to try and harrow the grass seed, which we put on yesterday. And they're working quite well. I've picked a bit of rubbish up, so I'll try and pull them out of the, uh, the chains. But other than that, not doing too bad a job. I'm just trying to level the ridges out, from which we made with the gator, and also get a bit of seed to soil contact. So it is a bit overkill, this tractor, but at the end of the day, you know, it is doing the job. Quite rough really so you got a bit steady because we're going the other way probably one of the easiest jobs this tractor's ever had to do <laughs> it's probably overkill We'll be getting that seed to soil contact, which is what I want for this grass seed to grow. I think it will come up now. I went to finish some of it last night with a bucket, just did some bits by hand. But just a question of time now, really, more than anything. Chain arrows on the back for about 20 odd years. We used to have them on a McCormick CX 105, chain arrow the fields every year. And then we stopped doing that, and they've sort of, to be honest, they've sat across the stack yard for years. I haven't really used them that much, but they are really good for harrowing in the spring. It's a bit too late to do the sided fields now, unfortunately, because it's been so wet. Not too bad a job there, if you have a look. I think for what it's worth, we'll go and get the, the flat rollers, like the Cambridge ones. We'll just roll all this in. But that has leveled it out quite nicely, those old harrows. I forgot how good a job chain arrows can do. Maybe give this a run again, and then we'll go and get the rollers out. We are away. I've got to get a smaller tractor at some point for small jobs like this where you just want to pull some chain arrows and a, a roller, stuff like that. You know, you don't need anything too big. Sometimes just a little 70, 80, 100 horsepower tractor is plenty. It won't make a mess. But these heavier ones, heavier tractors will make a mess, but doing a nice job. One thing about the rollers, they will break the pods and they'll just press that grass seed into the ground, making better seed to soil contact. A bit of rubbish I'll pick up there, lovely. Well, I just picked up a couple of rocks there which were in the way. Unfortunately, there was a bit of rubble in there which someone put in from years ago and we'll uh, pick that up and put it on the rubble pile at some point and it'll get crushed into crushed concrete. I know we've had some bad weather this year. You know, it's been quite a wet February. It's been cold, but it is starting to look not too bad now. It's not a bad uh, part of the world here where we farm in rural Norfolk. Especially when the sun's out, when it does decide to come out. <laughs> See what's coming along. See what I mean about the ridges? We really do have a, some flotations or a smaller tractor on this job, really, but I've got to get it done. And there's any trail across the way. Same way I went with the chain now. It seems to work quite better, but I've still got some ridges, but they're not as bad as what they were. But it is what it is. Could let some tire out, uh, pressure out the tyres. They're, all, they're already quite low, running at about 20 psi at the moment. I could drop them down to 15. I think they only go down to about 10, these tyres, which is quite low. It is quite low in all fairness. Well, it hasn't done too job bad a job, to be fair. I mean, there's a few wet places, a few wet holes, like there always is, but it has been too wet. But, you know, I've tried to do my best job. Any areas which are too unlevel will come back with the small roller and just try and level them all out a little bit. But for the most part, I think the seed 
will come up now. Hopefully the grass seed we put on yesterday and harrowed in today and rolled. Just need, I mean, I was gonna say a bit of rain, but we've had quite a bit of rain to get it growing. So just a question of time. Let the seed come up, keep the old birds off, see how it goes on. Just got this last little bit to do as well. So finish that off. That should not be not too bad if it all goes well, but who knows with farming. Sometimes some seed comes up really well and sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see. We will We've got see. some of our calves, which they were supposed to go out, but unfortunately, because of the cold weather, these will, these will be going out a lot later in about May, June time, and then they'll be coming back earlier, and then they'll be sold for beef, hopefully. So, if all goes well, really enjoyed the uh, the beef burger the other night. Let me know in the comments what you had last night or what you're having this week for Back British Beef Week, I think it is, or um, British Beef Week. It's a good positive thing to help the beef industry. So, it's a lovely uh, evening here on the farm, and uh, yeah, catch you on the next one. I had this dropped off by Matt from PAX. So thanks for this, Matt. This is the new Crone Easy Cut brochure and they do trailed ones, which look really, really cool. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. That's the 320 uh, trailed version, which I, I think looks awesome. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Maybe you've got one of these and you use them or a Crone uh, side mower, but they do look the bee's knees. I've just been reading up about them and they are Really, really smart bits of kit made in Germany. I know one lonely farmer in America. He's a farming YouTuber. He loves Crone. I've, I share the same birthday as um, one lonely farmer. I think it's 5th of July. But um, yeah, beautiful uh, bits of machinery. And uh, yeah, let me know, know what you think in the comment section down below. It all comes down to price. I did ask for a price on one. So hopefully we'll uh, get a price on one. And we'll see them working at Eastern College very soon. There's a, a, a Crone open day with PECs. So... Just learning about them. Catch you in the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.